for a while now, and 35 is right around the corner. Which means I'm far too old to have my father playing matchmaker. I know finding the right man hasn't been easy for you. Daddy, please. I know I... how easily men can be intimidated by a woman's professional success. If their fragile egos can't handle it, that's their problem. Well, few men are equipped to deal with a woman of your caliber. But Charles seems to be able to handle it. What makes you so sure he doesn't have an ulterior motive? That his real interest doesn't lie in getting his hands on this company, on everything you and I have built? Oh, kitten. Is that what this is all about? Remember how afraid you were of that pony? You refused to get on until I promised to walk by your side the entire way. And I ended up walking you around that circle... Twenty-nine times. I couldn't get you off the dark thing. I would walk a million circles before I'd let any harm come to you. I trust Charles. I think he's good for you. You make him sound like a multivitamin. <laughs> you are stubborn like your mother. You know, she didn't want to have anything to do with me at first either. I thought it was arrogant. She was right. I'll get us a coffee. Debbie! Morning, Mildred. King ravishing as usual. Uh, Any patients in need of our medical expertise? Yeah, the one that's in for a heart valve. Ah, kid. Oh, he didn't call him that. Did he give you a hard time? <laughs> Brandon, I'm Jack Cooper. How are you doing? You tell me you're the know-it-all doctor. I'm not a know-it-all doctor. First one I've heard to admit that. I mean, I'm definitely a know-it-all, but not a doctor. I'm a nurse. A nurse. You're like a guy. <laughs> I'm like a guy nurse. <laughs> you flunk out of med school or what? <laughs> it's a good one. You can laugh, laugh all you want. I'm in love it. Oh yeah, I bet. Daddy, I'd like to meet the man of my dreams, Nurse Cooper. <laughs> it might behoove you, young man, to remember that I can make your stay here like the Four Seasons or like the Bates Motel. It's your choice. Okay, a little sensitive. I tell you, it's almost better to be an orderly sometimes. I mean, no offense. Oh, none taken. I know my gig is sweet. No one expects you to be something you're not. Did you get a load of your brother from another mother? Okay, we may share the same last name, but that is where it stops, my friend. And that is tough luck for you. <sighs> oh, man. Look at him. He's a total womanizer. No, and he's got no hair and a horrible case of halitosis. And they're still lining up for him. You know, it's a known fact that doctors are at the top of the dating food chain. You put an MD at the end of your name, nothing else matters. An RN. Not so much. Dr. Dave Thomas Cooper, please report to labor and delivery. I mean, what is with these women? Why is it always about power, prestige, and money? I mean, whatever happened to love, man? Love for who we are and our souls as men. Wow. Yeah, you need to forget all about that. You gotta work with what you got. Take me for example. I've got this awesome physique, right? And so when I meet a woman, I tell her that I'm a pro athlete. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Wait. And she believes you. Yeah, she believes me because she wants to believe. Yeah. And what and what happens when she finds out that you're not? Well, I, well, I mean, it doesn't really get that far. They realize that they hate my guts before they figured out I lied. Ah, uh, great. Yeah, it's not foolproof. How are we friends? I'll have another. On the rock, sir, or straight up? Catherine, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Thank you. So, what's all this? A hotel development in Wisconsin. I'd love for you and your father to be a part of it. Have you shown it to him? Not yet. Uh, it's still in its early stages, but if it works out, we all stand to make a small fortune. Catherine, do you realize it's been six months since we started seeing each other? Has it? After the Mancini closing. That dim-witted notary spilled his coffee on you and I lent you my handkerchief, remember? Yes, I do. You went on to extract the highest price per square foot the city's ever seen. You were breathtaking. Oh, this is the lawyer on the deal that's Just closing tomorrow. Probably. I'll be five minutes. Just go ahead and order. Catherine, Catherine Benson. 
Hi. Yes, of course. Let me grab a pen. We can hash this out. Excuse me. Could you pack this up for the lady? Thank you. You know, Catherine, it's really no problem at all to drop you home. Oh, I I've got something to finish. Well, um... Small token of my affection. Oh, that's Charles. That's no, not please, necessary. No, please. No, I couldn't possibly... I know we've kept things fairly casual up until now, but when you get the chance, I'd like you to put some thought to our future together. Our future? Yeah, in a more permanent capacity. You don't mean... Yes, I'd like you to hold Friday nights open for me and perhaps Sunday brunch if possible. <laughs> Seriously, Catherine, I want to be your go-to guy. The one you could depend on in a pinch, maybe even the one you think of when you go to sleep at night. You know, eventually. That's very sweet. Catherine, I admire you. You're good for me, and I... I know I could be good for you. Where did you get that? What? That you're good for me. Did my father tell you to say that? Huh? No, Catherine. Oh, there is nothing to do with this. Really? Be because I feel like sometimes... <laughs> you were saying? I was saying you are very charming and thoughtful and one of the most generous men I've ever met. And... I will give your proposal my utmost consideration. Thank you, Catherine. Back to the grindstone. Good night, my darling. Dude, we got a couple live ones on the line. All we have to do is reel them in, so follow my lead. Hello, ladies. What's shaking? Hi, uh, I'm Jack. This is Reggie. Oh. I'm Brooke. She's Angel. Oh, hello, Angel. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> what do you do, Jack? He's a well, doctor. Actually, um... He's a uh, renowned cardiologist at uh, Chicago West. That's not it. Oh, entirely. don't be modest. Uh. You should be very proud of yourself. Uh, so have you saved many lives? Only like exactly. every day. He once held a living heart in his own two hands. No. Do you remember that? You're I kidding. Don't. Gosh, I can't even imagine how that must feel. Right? I mean, that must feel like, I guess, the way I felt when I scored that winning touchdown at Super Bowl 45. <coughs> Super Bowl? Hmm? You're a professional football player? Oh, well, I mean, I used to be. Yeah, and then I blew up my knee, so... You know, trying to scout. Brooke, you know, I can't uh, lie to you. Oh, but no. I'm actually, no. Uh, I am not a cardiologist. I'm an RN. RN? Really naughty? <laughs> <laughs> Registered nurse. But you're going to become a doctor. And, I mean, eventually. Uh, eventually? No. What? Uh, no. I actually love what I do. I'm uh, quite proud of it. Wow! I mean, that's really amazing! Yeah. Oh, hey, um, we've gotta go. No, you don't. Yeah, we do. We've got that thing? Yeah, that, mm. that thing. I know you don't have that thing. Why do you do this? It got really quiet in here all of a sudden. You smell that? What is that? It smells like a train wreck. And that's you and your lies. Good one.
You'd save yourself a hefty mortgage payment if you just admit you actually live here. <laughs> How was your date? Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. Mm -hmm. What is this for? I'm guessing an opening bid for a future corporate merger. You are so cynical. Says the dreamer. There's nothing wrong with assuming the best of people. Unfortunately, I can't afford to do that. You have got to get over this whole paranoid. They're all after my corporate wealth and power hang up. Easy for you to say. Oh, really? You think most guys are attractive to me because of my bubbly personality? This is the hard part of dating. Finding that one genuine guy after weeding out all the fakes. I hate dating. <clears throat> All the guys I meet are so uptight, boring, self-centered. Yes. Yeah. Or completely intimidated by my career. You know how I get those butterflies and goosebumps when I'm about to close a big deal? You mean the cramps and the rash? Whatever. That's when I'm feeling challenged and excited and alive and every cell in my body is tingling. Why can't I meet a man who makes me feel like that? How far are you willing to go? I'd consider the suburbs. Come on. <clears throat> Head over heels for you.com. What is this? The newest, hottest internet dating service out there. No, no, I don't think so. Yes. If you want a real man, someone completely different from all those corporate stiffs you meet, this is your ticket. They have an algorithm that analyzes your detailed profile to help you find your perfect match. What if someone I know sees me on this site? I'd be the laughing stock of the business world. No. Your identity is kept completely private. They only release it to the guys they match you with. One of those guys? What if they match me with one who's a fake? Hmm? And then he's after money or the company. You use an alias. <gasps> I read it yet. You pretend you're me. An underpaid office worker waiting oh. for her white knight to perform a hostile takeover. Mm. Trust me, no excuses. No, it's all too complicated. No, it's very simple. I'll walk you through it. Name. Maybe. Age. Hey. Sorry. Get confused on that one. <laughs> Occupation. Executive assistant. Favorite food. You have to be kidding me. Black coffee. Great. This this seems underhanded. The lying. Well, how else are we gonna know they're in it for you and you alone? I know, but no, no, no. It's not like you're gonna keep your identity hidden from him forever. You will tell him once you're sure he's alone. And what happens when he finds out I've lied to him? Well, he'll realize not only did he get the woman of his dreams, but surprise, as an added bonus, she's loaded. Trust me, he won't be disappointed. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, no. Sorry, too late. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Out of my chair. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Occupation. Like the great philosopher Popeye once said, I yum with a yum. <laughs> All right, that was, that was terrible. Hi. Right. Hi. Meet Knox for midnight bowling, your brother's bowling. You want to come? Nope, I'm busy. Two for one drinks. Still busy. Internet dating? Mm-hmm. You didn't tell him your real job. Of course I did. These things don't work unless you're honest. I'm telling you women want doctors, not nurses. You know what? I am done actually with your advice, but thank you. I'm gonna do things the way that I want to from now on. It's fine, whatever. Mm -hmm. Hey, could I borrow? No. Your bowling shoes? No. Because I mean, these rentals—they fall even below my standards of hygiene. I say something. Your feet stink. Y yeah. All right, I'll wear socks. <sighs> huh? Yeah, you wanna? Can wear socks. Thank you. Hey, can I borrow some socks? Oh. What? They'll thank me one day. Submitted your profile. What? You're welcome. I'm just working on today's schedule. Oh, well, yeah, let's try. 
I'm sorry. I just couldn't wait. I, I feel like a kid on Christmas morning. Well, that's fine. You can forget about the whole thing because I'm going to cancel. What? No, 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 you can't. I won't let you. Get, no, get, okay, no. I'm the boss. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm curious yeah. to see who they match to. I've been matched already? To like 10 guys. Yep. <laughs> now, first, what we need to do is narrow the playing field. Okay. Now, for instance, you don't want a guy that doesn't submit a photo of total red flag. And you don't want a guy that looks too polished. He's obviously used Photoshop or is way too into himself. <laughs> but same goes for this guy, this guy, him. Wait. And him. Yeah, oh, also him. <sighs> okay, now we're left with a doctor and a lawyer. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to take both of them out for a little test drive. I don't know. There's something about that one. See, there's something in his eyes. He looks... He looks sincere. <sighs> now we just wait and see if he wants to meet you. Okay. What do you want? <laughs> oh, hello, Mildred. Hey, babe. Oh, hon, is your arthritis acting up again? Yeah. Let me see. Whoever marries you is going to be the luckiest girl on earth. <laughs> Thanks, Millie. Don't worry, you'll find her. Oh, Mr. Smith said it again. <laughs> Send a rescue party if I'm not back in five. Uh, be a sweetheart. Would you enter this guy for me while you're at it? You got it. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Dr. Pearson, please report to emergency. Call me crazy, but those don't look like cardiac patients to me. Shh, shh, shh. These are my matches. What, from your dating website? Uh-huh. Sweet. So, all of these women want to date you? Yes. Mm. I guess not all women are into money and status after all. It's like telling the truth pays off, doesn't it? Well, my apologies. I was dead wrong. Look at that dental hygienist. Wow, those are not real. What? No, look, no one has teeth like that. They, they gotta be capped. This lawyer's cute. Eh, no, you want something more fun. Yeah, like this one. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, that's classy. <laughs> Whoa, well, how about this executive assistant? Maybe. Mmm, there's something in her eyes. I mean, she looks way different than the rest of them, right? Like, it's like she has something real. Like, she would want to do the things that I want to do, like camping and baseball or knitting. Look at this. She loves dogs. Okay, look at this. She said, I had a great day when I was a kid. How about that? This must be kismet. Well, you got to start somewhere, right? I'm keeping us. <sighs> Strike paragraph 75, part B, subpart 3. We've never dealt away our right of first refusal in a deal like this, and we don't intend to. But the letter of intent clearly... Catherine! <clears throat> Miss Benson, you have an urgent phone call. Take a message. What is your doctor? Calling with the results. Results. Catherine, hey, if you have a medical matter you have to attend to... No, I'm fine. Thank you. Um... Oh. Oh, those results. Okay, um... One moment, gentlemen. Sure. Uh, okay. Now, don't panic. Play it cool. I'm a seasoned negotiator. I don't play it cool. I am cool. <clears throat> Catherine Benson here. Wait, who? I am Debbie Kelvin, the assistant to Catherine Benson, who I am not. Hi, I am Jack. We... We matched on head over heels for you. Hi. Yes. Hi, Jack. Hello. So, is anybody there? Sorry, I I'm a little unprepared. This is the first time I've ever done any internet dating thing. Me too. I know it's crazy, huh? I know what people won't do for love. I don't mean love necessarily. Not yet. Anyway, maybe not ever. <laughs> I get, I get what you mean. I mean, no pressure. We'll just meet in person and just take it from there. See how it goes. Great. Exactly. Perfect. 
So I was wondering, um, are you free this Saturday night? I know there's really great place. I think maybe we could this Saturday. Um, I, I will have to check my schedule. Works for us, me alone. Except hopefully with you at the time of the date. Maybe not like a, a date date, but <laughs> okay. Where should I pick you up? You know, it'd be better if I met you. Okay. How's seven o'clock, nine fifty South Holstrom sound? Seven o'clock. That is a definite can do. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. It's not easy being you. <clears throat> okay. You're not wearing your business suit, are you? No, I bought jeans. Mm, you didn't press them, did you? Of course not. And what about your hair and makeup? <sighs> what about us? Honestly, uh, your hair looks like a German World War II helmet. And you're way too heavy on makeup. But it's very intimidating to men. Yeah. Okay. Gotta go. Debbie. Hi. Uh, hi. Debbie. Yes. Hi. That's yeah. I'm. I'm That's... Debbie. That's me. Hi. <laughs> I'm Jack. Come on in. Are you ready to have some fun? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Mmm, <laughs> mm, smell those brats. I know what that is. <sighs> Where is it? So, okay. Say, hey, Jack, this your old lady? Uh, no, just, just friend. Well, any friend of yours is a friend of ours. Okay, guys, just let's keep it clean. I, I'm sorry about the rentals. I... I forgot to mention to you we were bowling, or you could have brought your own. Oh. Yeah. Um. I have socks. <laughs> Let me help you with this one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you got this. Just have fun and give it your best shot. It. Wiggle your fingers a bit. Does that hurt? No. Is there any numbness or tingling? Um, tingling? Uh huh. Yeah, it's definitely not broken. You would know. <laughs> if you ice it tonight and some ibuprofen, it'll feel better. Okay. <laughs> so, what do you do as an executive assistant? I work for the president of a real estate investment firm. President? Mm -hmm. You must be good. I am. I am. Your boss, what does he like? He's a she, and 
She helped build the company from the ground up. Wow, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. Is she married? No, why? I don't know, you hear about these business executives that just work and work and they have no time for family or for social life, but I mean, that's gotta take a toll on relationships. Yeah, Kevin's not really like that. That's good. <laughs> this is me here. That is you. Yeah. <laughs> I really like your hair like, like that. Thank you. I'll be sure to wear it like this next time. <laughs> I, I'm not assuming. I, I really hope there is a next time. I do, too. Roses are red and violets are blue. Not even pros can draw a strike like you. <laughs> That's terrible. What's terrible? Oh, uh, spilled some water. Oh, things are going well with Charles, I see. Things with Charles could not be going any better. Excellent. Keep up the good work. What are these things? Oh, uh, those are for Debbie. Mm. Put him in here by accident. That guy needs a new florist. Yeah, let me get that. Good morning, buddy. How'd you sleep? If it isn't Little Miss Sunshine. Have <laughs> you ever heard of something called karma? What about it? There's venom you're spewing. It's not going to help you in the long run. Well, maybe I don't need to worry so much about the long run. See? There it is. That's what I'm talking about. A good attitude right? help you beat this thing. The doctor said a new heart valve would help me beat this thing. Parents know you play this? Yeah, they bought it for me. It helps me, it distracts me from my problems. When's the last time you read a book? Yeah, right. Hey, Kim, what's up? There's a guy here to see you. Hmm. Who is it? Says he's a friend of yours. 17th floor. Okay, thanks. May I help you? Hi. I'm here to see Debbie Kelvin. I'm Debbie. Kelvin's boss. You're Debbie's boss? Mm-hmm. Catherine Benson. Yep. President of uh, Benson Alliance, Inc. Okay. Uh, Debbie's in a, a meeting right now. Um, assistance meeting of all the assistants. But I can pull her up because I am the boss. So just wait right here <laughs> and I'll go get her. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, he's here. Who's here? Mr. Hodges. I didn't know you were. It's the decorator for the reception area. He wants to show you some paint samples. I thought you already had the reception area done. We did. Yes. Well. Catherine, uh, uh, really doesn't like the color. It makes her nauseous, so, yeah. I'll we'll have her back in a jiffy. Yep. Come on. Since when does beige make anyone dizzy? Sometimes you can be so dense. Okay. He's here. He's cute. And if you mess this up, he's mine. Jack. Jack is here. Yes, in the reception area. I will take care of Charles, and, uh, I may have told him that I'm your boss. Also. What? Yeah, it's okay. Go. You're good. Gorgeous. Looking great. Hey there. 
great tie. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Jack. Oh, what a surprise. I didn't get you in trouble with your boss, did I? No, 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 it's fine. Did you get my flowers? Yes, thank you. They're beautiful. <laughs> Welcome. Um, hey, did, do you want to go grab a bite to eat with me? There's a place I know that's great and it's really close. Oh, um, I'm not ready to quit for the night. I have... Uh... That's okay. I'll wait. What time do you get off? I've really got to work on this deal that's closing, um, so... It can wait. No, I can't. Yes, it can. Okay. Remember, I am the boss of you, and what I say goes. <laughs> I work her to the bone, and she really deserves a night out. <laughs> so get out of here, you two. And you can thank me tomorrow if you decide to come in. Thank you, Miss, uh... <clears throat> no, Benson here. Call me Catherine. Or better yet, Katie. Thank you, Katie. Yeah. Okay. Get out. Okay, thanks, Katie. Get out. Horse and carriage. Get out of here. Cute Bye. kids. You look great together. I love what's happening. <gasps> what a tangled web we weave. <gasps> when I was a kid, I used to go to work with my dad on Saturdays, and we would come here for lunch. Yeah. What does he do? He used to be a typesetter for the Chicago Tribune, but him and my mom both passed. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. He would have so much ink on his hands that no matter what he tried, he couldn't get it off. He'd get so embarrassed that he would have to put them in his pockets. Aww. Yeah. He said to me that I have to find a job where I would never have to get my hands dirty. Oh. Well, he must have been very proud of you. It was. <laughs> Everything okay? You haven't touched your food. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm <clears> just <throat> missing silverware. Oh, 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 no. You gotta eat with your hands. It's the house rules. Okay, this is how it's done. Okay. You take a piece, you dunk, like this. Mm. Now you. Even just <clears throat> a plastic fork is okay. fine. Trust me, it tastes so much better like this. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. Okay, okay. Take a piece. And, uh, Take a dunk. And, okay. Dunk it. Uh-huh. Yep. And then have at it. <laughs> just just go for it. Just go for it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's so good. See? See, I told you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, well, I had better get back to it. Really? Yeah. yeah your boss is long gone, no? Oh, no. No, uh, you don't know her. She's, uh, she practically lives here. That's a shame. Do you ever go all the way up to the top? Yeah, um, I think I was about eight. No way. You work in this building every day, and you don't go up to the top. Come on. What? Come on. <laughs> if you look over there, you can see all the way to Wisconsin. Oh, wow. Have you ever been to Wisconsin? No. Ah, oh, it's incredible. The pine trees and the fresh air. And you go outside at night there and you look up at the stars and you can't even believe there are that many stars in the universe. It's my favorite place in the world. It sounds beautiful. I have a little cabin in Lake Geneva that my parents left me. Oh, wow. We could go up for the weekend. Oh, I don't know. It has two bedrooms. Oh. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I just, uh, I just have to work this weekend. Sorry. It's okay. It's not your fault. We'll just, we'll do it another time. I'd like that. 
how about next weekend? Oh, uh, next weekend, um, <clears throat> I've, I've got to work on this deal that's closing. Okay, and the weekend after that? Yeah. Okay, now I'm starting to get the feeling that there's something you're not telling me. What do you mean? Debbie, if you're not into me, that's, it's okay. No, 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 that's not it. Because if you don't want to see me, I mean, you could just go ahead and say so. I, I can't handle it. I want to see you. I want to go to the cabin with you. <laughs> Good, because I lied. I wouldn't have been able to handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> I like you, Debbie. I just don't want you to think that I go around inviting women up to the cabin. You're the only one. Allergic reaction. Oh, that, that that is a first. I've never had that effect on a woman. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, or... it's I don't know the chicken or the uh, the hot sauce. I'm not good with spices. I think cinnamon is about as far as I go, and so even that's pretty adventurous. This is it's yeah. It's I, hot sauce. I, I think you just gotta build up your tolerance, you know, fight fire with fire. Any more fire in here and we'll have to call 911. <laughs> Let me look it's, at it. It's, it's, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, don't, don't touch it. Oh. It's, you have a rash. Okay. But it's it'll, it's going to clear up if you drink plenty of water and 50 milligrams of Benadryl every four hours. Okay. You hear me? Yeah. 50 milligrams, no more, no less. You are bossy. <laughs> I am bossy. <laughs> it's, it's true what they say about doctors. You have a God complex, huh? <laughs> Wait, what? That was a joke. I'm sorry. I'm sure you're very humble. I've been meaning to ask you what made you want to become an obstetrician. Wait a minute, I never told you that. I saw a doctor on your profile and I Googled you. My profile? Yeah, and I, I read that article about you delivered quintuplets last year. That was amazing. Reggie. No, that wasn't. That was incredible. That was, that was a, a medical miracle. You saved our lives. No, I don't think you understand. That was... It took a whole team of highly qualified medical personnel and nurses who never get the credit they deserve. See? You are humble. Kill you. This is a hospital. We save lives here. We don't wipe them out. You switched my profile to tell her I was a doctor. Is this the way you thank me? <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you're women coming out of the woodwork. The way I see it, you owe me one. Yeah, but she thinks I'm that Dr. J. Thomas Cooper. I had nothing to do with that. It's because of your lie. Okay, then what did she say when you set her straight? I... 
I didn't exactly. Ah, this is a pot calling the kettle black. It is. I was backed into a corner. That's when we show our truest character. When our backs are up against the wall and we're desperate. Right, but it's not my character. Don't worry. There are other fish in the sea. I like this fish. Mr. Action. Rise and shine. Hey. Hey, what'd you do with my game? Me? Nothing. No, no, no. It was right here. Night nurse. Just check with her. I'm gonna report you for theft. You can get fired for this. <laughs> get a grip, buddy. I didn't take your stupid game. <clears throat> so, what am I supposed to do now, huh? Watch reruns of The Price is Right. I could loan you a book I'm reading. It's The Catcher in the Rye. Yeah, great. I probably shouldn't, though. Your parents would kill me. It's filled with teenage rebellion and profanity. I used to be banned in some high schools. It saved my life when I was your age. Don't tell anyone I gave you that. I can't take this evening here anymore. This weekend, I'm going to tell her who I am. And you think that a roaring fireplace is going to take a sting out of that? No, but I think that it's going to help her know how much I care about her. It's a great idea. <sighs> okay. So, you all ready? I've left you some instructions. Okay. Do not forget to get my line notes scanned and to Leanne my answer by 5 p.m. The loan documents need to get to First National. Yeah. And then we need to reschedule the conference call. For yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I can't go. I have too much going on. I can't, I can't. He's gonna have to understand. Everything will be fine here. Trust me. Maybe it's time you listen to your heart and not that big, dumb brain of yours. In that case, I'm telling him the truth this weekend. So last thing I do. Debbie. Hi. Yeah, right over here. Hi. 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 Good Hi. to see you. Good to see you. I'm oh. sorry, Paul. I had an umbrella somewhere. Oh, okay. Oh. That's Roxy. Hi, Roxy. My goodness. That's Joseph. Hi, Sadness. It's Charles. What do you think? It's amazing. It's perfect. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> We're here. This is great. <laughs> Debbie, there's there's something I have to get off my chest. Hey? What is it? The truth is I'm actually I'm not really Okay. I'm not really good at expressing my feelings, my words. <laughs> so I get tongue tied when I'm around you. So, I got you this. Oh, Jack. It's not a big deal, really. It's just a... A heart. I know, it's corny, but... No. No one's ever gotten me a heart before. It's engraved on the back. Always Jake. What? <laughs> What is this? Does it say that? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, they messed it up. 
Okay, I'm taking it back. No, no, please. Yeah. No. Give it to me. No, I like I'm it. I'm going to take please, it. Please don't <laughs> take it back. You're, you're no. not supposed to be laughing. <laughs> give it to me. Look, it's give me. funny. Give me that. No, 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 no. Oh, give it to me. Oh, boy. Oh. 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 Coco. Oh, thank you. Jack, there's something you need to know about me. Okay. <clears throat> what is it? Okay, I... I can't cook at all. I'm, I mean, <laughs> not even popcorn. <laughs> okay, Ooh, we can survive on peanut butter sandwiches if we have to. Is there anything else? I'm... I'm not... I'm... I'm not... Okay, no, 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 stop. I don't care what you're not. I care what you are. And you are what every guy would dream of. You're beautiful and smart and fun. And fun? But those are just the obvious things. What I'm talking about is all the undefinable things, all the little things that come together to make up who you are. Your essence, your soul, your gist. I'm just saying, this can't go on. Got to tell her during breakfast. Oh, yeah. You agree with me, right, girl? I was getting scared Roxy and I were going to have to eat this all ourselves. Jack, I... Wow. I don't deserve all this. You know, I was just thinking, you actually... You deserve better. No, Jack. Listen. You should probably get that. It's been ringing all morning. Okay. My boss. Gotta take it. What's wrong? Don't panic. The Edinger deal. I knew something was falling through the cracks. It's your father. He's had a heart attack. What? He's all right. It was very minor, but they just want to keep him in for a few days for observations and tests. What hospital? Chicago West. It's Jack's hospital. OK, I'm on my way. Thanks. I'm so sorry, I'll have to go. My dad's in the hospital. What happened? He had a heart attack. Where? What hospital? Um, University of Chicago. Okay, I'll get ready. Okay, thank you. You didn't tell him that? I didn't have the opportunity. Well, what happens when he, he wants to look in at your dad and there's no Mr. Calvin I lied in. again. I told him we were at a different hospital. And if he sees you here visiting? What? He is in labor and delivery. That's a different wing. He has no reason to be over here. I'm looking for my father, Edward Benson. Whoa, whoa. Slow down, honey. <clears throat> Edward Benson, please. He's in room 505. <sighs> oh, 
Daddy. I'm fine, kitten. Really, I am. Yeah. Mm. I'm sorry I wasn't here for you. Uh, Catherine, we've been frantic looking for you. Where have you been? I was out of town. That's unlike you to go off without telling us. <sighs> well, enough about me. What did the doctor say? They think it's very minor. They just want to keep an eye on him. I thought it was indigestion. He's as fit as a fiddle. He had a heart attack, Charles. He could have died. I'm sorry, folks. The doctor ordered another ECG to check Mr. Benson's heart function. Okay, I'll be here when you get out, okay? I love you. You know that. I know that, kid. I love you, too. Okay. I'm sorry, Charles. You've got to understand, he's all I have. You've got me, too. I need to be alone right now. Greetings from the Dairy State. Oh, what a doll. What do you got for me? New guy in 505. Been here a day and thinks he owns the place. I will whip him into shape. I'm sure you will. That's nice. That's sweet. We can't break ground until we get a clean bill of health from the EPA. Not to mention... Hang on a sec. No. No, leveraging this deal will give us the best capital returns in the long run. Absolutely not. We can't risk that skunk pulling out again. Mr. Benson... Yeah, you'll have to speak up. I can't hear you. Jim, no. I need a good faith offer of at least 50 million before I'll even consider sitting down with Thank you. Bye, Jim. What'd you do that for? <clears throat> okay. Take a breath. First, you unplugged your heart monitor, and second, you're supposed to be in bed, getting rest. Doctor's orders. You're not my doctor. Nope. I'm your nurse. <laughs> That's a practical joke, right? Frank Holtzman put you up to this? It's uh, one of those uh, sonograms, right? Hmm. Okay, so when you get back to the office, get a copy to each party, including the revised addendum. Will do. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Charles left this for your father, some new hotel development he wants him to take a look at. You'd think you could give the guy a day or two. Want me to give it back to him? No, I'll look at it. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Not okay. Wow. Kate. Abby, what are you doing here? Um, uh, Catherine. Uh, Catherine was not. Catherine. Uh, I right? Yeah. <laughs> Must be exhaustion. I work like a maniac. In case you haven't heard, I really ought to take this as a warning. Was there any vomiting or abdominal cramps? No. Yes. Yeah. No. 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 There was, but that's past. That's all gone now. It is right? all gone. Feeling much better. I will be taking a few days off, though. It sounds like you're dehydrated. My name is Reggie Laduca. My friends call me Reggie. Laduca. Has anyone ever told you that you have the most amazing eyes? <laughs> Catherine, did you say you had to get back to the office? Mm -hmm. Catherine. Reggie. Oh. Huh? Yes. Yeah. I have a job, and I have to go there. Can I walk you back to work, Catherine? How's your dad? He's fine. Thank you. He should be discharged before the weekend. Good, good. Yeah. I've missed you. It's only been 45 hours. Okay. <laughs> good, so you're counting too. I guess I am. <laughs> you look very cute in your scrubs. Thank you. 
You look very cute in your gray dress. Thank you. When do I get to see you again? Does Friday work? I'll call. I'll answer. You look better. Kitten. I'm perfectly fine. I don't even know why I have to stay here. <laughs> it's for your own good. Please don't talk to me like I'm a child. Hey, did you see what I brought you? A chess set. Mm-hmm. Payback. All those times you trounced me as a kid. It's the only way you'd learn. <laughs> I thought you were just a poor loser. Oh, that too. Daddy. Mm-hmm. How long did it take you to fall in love with Mom? Ooh, I'd say about a minute and a half. Really? <laughs> that fast. She had that laugh. Remember? How she could shake you out of your bluest moment and make you feel like you could conquer anything. When I heard that laugh, I was done for. Why? What's troubling you, kitten? I think I may be in love. Oh, Catherine. <laughs> it's someone I can see spending the rest of my life with, having children with. But what about Charles? I thought you were going to try to do... I did try. I did. And I just don't love him. And you love this man, someone you don't even know? I know him. What's he do for a living? Who are his parents? What schools did he go to? I'm a grown woman. I don't have to justify my choices to you. And I'm your father. You most certainly do. You realize you put me in charge of a multi-billion dollar corporation and hundreds of decisions every day that determine its future, but you won't let me make a single one about my own? Business is one thing, but love is... Love is personal. You and the board of directors don't get a vote. Catherine. Catherine. The guy's name's Jack Cooper. It seems like they met on a dating website. He's a registered nurse at Chicago West. All his personal info is in there. Mr. Benson. Coming back from the bathroom, and my legs just gave out on me. You know you're not supposed to get out of bed by yourself. I've been going to the bathroom on my own since I was three years old. I'm not ready to change things yet. Okay, from now on, you have to ring me if you need to get up. <sighs> Mr. Benson, I can have a female nurse assigned if it makes you feel more comfortable. <sighs> nah, it's okay. Sometimes I need to sit with an idea for a while, but... I usually come around. You play? State high school, champs 64 through 67. 50 years ago. Are we gonna be here all day or what? You got somewhere you need to be? Now, my late wife was a nurse. Met during the war. Civil? <laughs> Vietnam smart, Alec. And you, you got a girlfriend? I do. How'd you two meet? On the internet. Ah, one of those desperate cases, hmm? Lots of people meet that way. You kids nowadays want everything to be so easy. You think you can find love by filling out a survey, checking off a list like you were buying a car. Mercedes. Click. Power steering. Click. Black. Click. Extra cup holder. Sometimes you got to dig to find the gold. 
Love, like anything worth having, requires some good old-fashioned elbow grease. That's what I've been telling my hot-headed daughter, anyway. You have a daughter? Hmm. And she's taken, so don't get me big ideas. <laughs> Are you kidding? The last thing I would want is you as a father-in-law. My sentiments, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So this uh, internet girlfriend of yours, she doesn't mind your chosen profession? No, not in the least. She doesn't exist, does she? She exists. But she thinks I'm a doctor. Oh, that's quite the kettle of fish now, isn't it? I didn't mean for it to happen. Things just got away from me, and I... You love her? I do. Then you gotta tell her. I know. Hi, it's me. Leave a message, I'll call you back. Hi, Debbie, it's, uh, it's me. Um, I have something really important that I have to tell you, and I can't wait till Friday. Can I see you tomorrow? Jack Cooper, how can I help you? I'm Charles Hodges, I'm a friend of Catherine. It's Catherine. Catherine Benson, president of Benson Alliance Incorporated? No. No, that's my girlfriend, that's Debbie Kelvin. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it, she told me she was an executive assistant. Executive assistant? <laughs> She most certainly is not. And from what I understand, you are not a doctor. Don't worry, I haven't told her yet. She'd be mortified to realize she's been duped like this. I'd like to spare her the embarrassment. What is this, a check for $237 to AT&T? No, what? Oh, sorry, that's my phone bill. Uh, here we are. Able to you. What's this for? That is to tell her you don't love her. To walk away, permanently. You're buying me off. Jack, <laughs> she's a corporate giant. Do you really think she'll be interested in a nurse? And one that's lied to her to boot? Like this, she may be hurt, perhaps. Think you're a bit of a cad. But at least she'll never realize what a shameful, underhanded thing you've done. You will have saved face for yourself, but more so for Catherine. If it's not enough, I can go higher. I don't, please, Jack. Everybody has a price. You know what, Charles? I get the feeling you wouldn't be standing here in front of my cruddy house in this low-rent neighborhood offering me an obscene amount of money if you were so sure she was gonna dump me when she finds out who I am. No deal. But you will regret this. I'll take my chances. Come on, girl. Let's go, rocks. Come on. Leave the bathroom. Huh? She lied to me. All this time, acting like I was in her league, making me think that I actually had a shot with her. Why would she do that? Well, you lied to her, too. I don't know, man. Maybe... <clears throat> she wanted to see how the other half lives. So, so what? I was like some social experiment. Her millions don't keep her occupied enough. What if it's billions? Oh, I took her bowling. Of all things, bowling. I mean, I am, I am such a chump. No, you're a good, decent guy. Anybody who knows you knows this. She's lucky to have you. Yeah, when I was a doctor and she was a secretary. Hold on, listen. If, if she loves you, like really loves you, it's not because she thought you were a doctor. You just said 
that women want doctors. Yes, no, I did say that, but... Yeah, but you can't listen to me, man. I'm a mess with women. Come on! Have some confidence, man. You'll tell her all about this. You'll both have a laugh. And then, you know, it'll be... It'll be okay, I promise. In hindsight, though, the boring... That was a... That was a What happened? Something happened? I know you're seeing someone else, Catherine. I'm sorry, I was I was gonna tell you. He's not who you think he is. What? Yeah, I hired a private investigator, this Jack Cooper. He's not a doctor. Charles, he's chief of obstetrics at this He's hospital. a nurse, Catherine. You've got the wrong person. He goes by Jack. His name is Dr. J. Thomas Cooper. Dr. J. Thomas? Follow me. Excuse me, miss. Would you be so kind as to page Dr. J. Thomas Cooper for us? It's a bit of an emergency. Dr. J. Thomas Cooper, please report to CCU stat. Dr. Cooper, CCU. Thank you. What made you think it would be okay to spy on me? I did it to protect you. It's unbelievable. You made a mistake. You're the one that's made a mistake. Did someone here have me paged? This couple. Oh. Sorry, I think there's been a misunderstanding. We were paging Dr. J. Thomas Cooper, chief of, of obstetrics. And here I am. Catherine! I'd like you to meet someone. This is my nurse. Jack Cooper plays one mean game of chess. Jack, this is my daughter, Catherine. What's the matter with you two? You've been lying to me. It seems you were lying to me, too. Catherine? What the heck is going on here? What's going on is that your nurse tried to convince Catherine he's a doctor so that she would go out with him. I wasn't the one who... She's the one you've been talking about? He's after your money, Catherine. Her, her money? She told me... You told me you were an executive assistant. What? Dad, please. I should have known this was too good to be true. I'm such a fool. No. You know, uh, she made her choice. You leave her alone. You know this wasn't about the money, right? You know I love her. Or is this about something else? You don't think a nurse is good enough for your daughter? Is that it? Oh, Jack. You're a good kid, but... I'm sorry. If your clients don't have their funds into escrow by the end of business, I will pull the plug on this thing so fast they'll get seasick going down the drain. Did you get that email I sent with the response to Tillinger? I need to get that out immediately. You can't send that. I'm sick and tired of him walking all over me. It's about time I threw down the gauntlet. What is going on with you? You've been acting like Attila the Hun all day. Did something happen with Jack? Catherine. Yeah. He lied to me. He's not a doctor, he's a nurse, and I'm an idiot. I fell for it. Well, you lied too. You both were pretending to be something you weren't. Yeah, I was not pretending to be something more desirable than I am. I was pretending to be something less desirable than I I, I'm, I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. Maybe you should ask yourself why you're really upset. Because he lied? Because you're a bigger snob than you're willing to admit. Where you been, weirdo? Mad Dog Miller's been a real pain in the butt. 
Your surgery scheduled for the morning. No liquids after 10. There's a light meal. Okay, sure. Duty nurse will be in to wake you around 6 in the morning and prep you. Where are you going to be? Tomorrow's my day off. Your day off? Yeah, Brandon, I know it's hard to believe, but I have other things other than just being a nurse. I have a life, my own problems. So you give me the stupid book, act like you're my friend, like you actually care, and you're not going to show up for this? Listen, buddy. Buddy? Right. Brandon, I'm sorry. Of course, I'll be here. I'm all over this. Don't forget it. All you adults are a bunch of phonies. Sometimes I'm glad I'm an old man. <laughs> You're not an old man. Sure as heck feel like it. How is she? Well, she won't talk about it. Acts like nothing even happened. What I don't understand is how she allowed herself to be deceived like that. She's usually so careful. Now, from what I can tell, he's a professional con man who won't take no for an answer. What do you mean? You talk to him? Well, I, uh... <clears throat> Just a brief encounter. I, I hope I didn't overstep my bounds, but I do feel I have a stake in the matter. Out with it, Charles. I offered him some money to break it off with her, but he declined. He said that he'd prefer to take his chances and that she'd still want him. <laughs> you believe that? Hey, get better, all right? Hmm. Son of a gun. Hey, Brandon. Hey, buddy. Hey, loser. <laughs> Didn't have anything better to do in your day off? <laughs> Not a chance. You're gonna do great in there. How do you know for sure? Because you're not the kind of guy who quits when you're in the middle of something. I've been looking for those. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, it's a very ambitious project. 400,000 square feet of retail space, casino and an amphitheater in the hotel. We call it the Lake Tahoe of the Midwest. <laughs> How about the residents? It's going to drastically change the character of the whole area. Are they not opposed to it? Naturally, but they'll come around. You're so sure. Everybody has a price. I'm glad you're taking an interest. With your father out of commission, we need someone from your side to steer this thing. You know, Catherine, I uh, wanted to let you know none of this has changed the way I feel about you. How do you feel about me? What do you mean? Do you love me? Yeah, sure. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Why? If you could name a reason. Well, uh, let's see where to begin. You are a brilliant businesswoman, strong-willed, but not unreasonable, sensible. Uh, we share a lot of the same interests, ambitions, political views, and of course I find you very attractive, physically. And uh, you're very spirited, always keeping me on my toes. Okay. What if, what if I had Debbie's job? But you don't. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. I could if I could type. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Debbie, cover me. Where are you going? 
I'm going to see a guy about my gist. Her gist? Gist? Hi. So, he's in stable condition. The valve surgery went very well. Okay? We'll let you know where you can go and see him. Okay. There's Cooper. He was asking about you when he woke up. Sure, I'll be glad to know that you're still here. Catherine, listen. You listen. Daddy, my whole life, I've done things your way. I went to the schools you chose. I studied the things you considered important. I took the jobs you thought would best advance my career, and I've been very lucky because you've made good decisions for me. Catherine. But listen, you also taught me that a good deal isn't necessarily the one that makes the most sense on paper. Sometimes you need to lay the numbers aside and trust your instincts. What I'm trying to say is, Jack, he's the one for me. And at the end of the day, this is just one that I need to trust my instincts on. And my gut is telling me if I pass up on this deal, I will regret it for the rest of my life. I gather from your tone, you don't care to hear my opinion. I love you. I'm not the little girl on the pony anymore. I can take care of myself. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Thanks. Now, go get him. Is Nurse Cooper here today? It's his day off, but I think he might be here visiting a patient. Oh, would it be possible to page him? Oh, sorry, not when he's off duty. Right. <sighs> Do you want to get a table inside and have a drink or something? I finally said to her, that's the most... <clears throat> Hi. I'm paging Nurse Cooper. Please report to the cardiac care unit. ASAP or STAT. Catherine. Who's Catherine? She's my girlfriend. I mean, she was when she was Debbie. It's, it's kind of a long story. Uh, it's not a medical emergency. It's more of a... A, of a, a love emergency. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for, Cinderella? Your pumpkin to turn into a carriage? I don't know if you can hear me, Jack, but, uh... I'm sorry. What the devil's going on? I had no right to judge you. Especially when you'd already shown me the kind of man you are. I'm in love with you. And, and I didn't fall in love with you because I thought you were a doctor. I love you because of of who you are. So, sorry. Um, okay. That was beautiful, honey. Thanks. Attention all visitors, would Catherine Benson please report to the south end of the hall? Stat. Well, it looks like you just won yourself the prize of the century. Who would not claim him? Alone, preferably. You heard all that? I heard all that. Okay. Jack, I... No, wait. I want you to know that I never meant for things to go the way that they did. I... realized that... You are the woman that I want to share the rest of my life with. Uh, 